Check that out. I have my continuous glucose monitor readings on the left from Dexcom and my friend's Medtronic CGM readings. He uses the Guardian. It also works with the Simplair CGM. And today I am helping out the Medtronic users who want to get their continuous glucose monitor readings on third party devices. Medtronic makes it pretty difficult. And for the other companies, Libre and Dexcom, those sensors have pretty easy ways to get them connected to third-party devices. Medtronic, not so much. So today I'm helping you Medtronic users to get your CGM readings on devices like the Sugar Pixel or on Garmin watches, Samsung watches, the Tidbit, Fitbit, or you can connect your readings to if this then that and have it be so a light turns green when you're in range, red when you're not in range, and purple when you're too high. That takes a lot more steps, which I'm not gonna fully get into today, but basically everything will allow you to put your readings in the cloud so that you can take them wherever you want. And some people are even using their Night Scout link in order to connect their Medtronic CGM to DIY. I haven't tried it, but people have done it. And basically getting your readings onto what's called Night Scout so that you can then share that out on all of these third-party devices that exist that do have capabilities to display CGM readings. I'm Justin, welcome to Diabet Tech. On here, I talk all things diabetes tech, news, and management. I've got a podcast on Mondays, and then I've got videos here on YouTube on Fridays. And on social media, I've got videos coming out almost every day. So if you're not following me on Facebook, TikTok, or Instagram, go follow me over there, because you're missing a lot. Links to everything are in the show notes. Medtronic users, I feel bad for you because oftentimes you're not able to have fun like this as easily as us Dexcom users or us Libre users. And today I'm going to make that easier. I'm so excited to share this with you. Now you're going to have to bear with me. It is not super duper simple. If I'm speaking too quickly because I am drinking caffeine, you can slow me down. There is the ability on YouTube to slow or speed me up if you wanna hear what I'm saying slower. I've also chaptered everything out if you need to go back. There are links to everything you need in the show notes. If you've got questions or have issues, drop them in the comments. If I can't answer them, someone else will. Also, none of what I talk about today should be considered medical advice. It is for educational purposes only. Always consult with a physician before making changes to your healthcare. We've also got a sponsor today. It is Sweet Dreams. Check this out. I've got glucose readings on my home screen. It's actually my Medtronic's friends. Um, and that is using Sweet Dreams. You can put your live glucose readings as a live activity on the home screen, on the Apple Watch, and I'll get into that in this video. But for now, let's get into it. Let's start with the first step, and that is just making sure you have someone or, or you have the mini med pump and you've got a CGM. If you have a mini med pump that you also have the app, I believe you can also just have an account online as well. So just make sure you have that. The next thing you need to do is you need to have a Medtronic CareLink account. The CareLink account allows you to follow along with someone's readings, even get alerts from someone. Now, if you're currently using a CareLink account to follow someone's readings and get alerts from that, you're gonna to wanna to create a new CareLink account because we're gonna be using that login and Medtronic only allows you to be logged in once. So you'd have to have the CareLink account you use for alerts and then a CareLink account for what we're talking about today. If you're the ManyMed pump user yourself and you don't follow yourself, because why would you? You can just create one CareLink account and that should be enough. First, you gotta download the CareLink app on there create an account, make sure you create the account on the same country as the pump user. Once you're on the app, tap to follow a new user, put in their username and send out the invite. Next, that user needs to accept your invite. I have links for both following someone and for the invitee to accept that in the description, but I'll explain it now. For the pump user on the Minimed app, they can accept it by going to the hamburger menu, tapping sync to care link, then going to manage care partners and accepting the request. Now that they've accepted on the care link app, you should see information coming in, both readings and even pump information. And we're gonna be taking all of that and sending it to the cloud with Night Scout. But before we get into that, let's talk more about today's sponsor, Sweet Dreams. 
This is probably the coolest app I found for diabetes management. Those are my live glucose readings on my home screen. With Sweet Dreams, you can display real-time glucose readings right on your iPhone lock screen and Apple Watch. For Freestyle Libre, Dexcom, and they just released direct integration for Medtronic sensors. So it's easier than this whole video now connecting those. First, you'll wanna download Sweet Dreams on the Apple App Store. There's a link in the video description. Once you're subscribed, you'll have access to all the functionalities, including live activity. Once you activate it, readings will show up on the iPhone lock screen. You can customize the style to a graph that shows the last five readings, a large view of your current reading, or a compact view. I love this feature because I can discreetly slide my phone out of my pocket, check my levels, and put it back in without anyone noticing. A live activity reading also activates on your Apple Watch. There are widgets for the watch face too. I like this one that shows a graph right in the middle of the screen. There's so much more you can do in this app, from a standby mode screen to Apple CarPlay integration, and they're constantly updating the app. Let me know what you think of this app in the comments, and you can download Sweet Dreams with that link down in the show notes. All right, back to the episode. Wow, that is so cool. I love having that widget on my home screen. But yes, back to the video. So now we're going to need to get your CareLink information synced into Night Scout so that you can take that information and put it places. To create a Night Scout link or platform, I have two different options for you. The first is Gluru and it's free. Gluru is a food and treatment tracking app for people with diabetes. You can use Gluru to gain access to a free Night Scout link. It also does a lot more cool things, but right now I'm focusing on this free feature that really helps me out. First, download the app. You can get it on both Android and iPhone and create an account. Once you create an account, go to Menu, Devices, select DIY via Night Scout, we're going to use this link in API secret later, so hold on to that. Another option for creating a Night Scout link, which gives you like a full on web page, a real Night Scout link of your glucose readings, but also your pump data is Night Scout Pro. Night Scout Pro will handle the setup for you. There is a fee and it is cheaper the longer you commit to an account. It does give you a nice dashboard on your computer and some people would prefer this more legitimate Night Scout link over Gluru, which basically is a Gluru link that acts as a Night Scout link. For the purposes of today, they're both gonna do the trick. The next thing we need to do is connect your CareLink account information to that Night Scout link, but there needs to be a middleman to transfer that. There are two different ways of doing this. One may be more natural for iPhone users versus Android users, but really both can do whichever one they like better. On the iPhone, there's an app called Guardian Monitor. That will be our strategy on the iPhone. If you're an Android user or you're an Apple user, but you wanna use an Android phone for this, you can get a cheap Android. You can do this other option. The iPhone option has a, a subscription. It's very little money and it's an incredible service that is so seamless. The Android option, is more confusing, but free. Go with whatever one you want. Let's start with iPhone, it's much more simple. On iPhone, you'll download the Guardian Monitor app. This has a subscription, and it also comes with a free trial if you wanna try it out to see if this works for you. The cool thing is this app works on Mac, iPad, or the iPhone. The Mac actually uses an iPad version of it, so you can set up on whichever device you have. Once you download the app, it will immediately ask you to log into the CareLink account. Type that in and then you'll be logged in. You should see numbers from your CareLink automatically populate into that app. Now that you're logged in, go to Preferences and then tap Night Scout. In here is where we need your Night Scout link and the API secret. For Gluru, we had those. Open up the app, go to Devices and scroll down. You'll see both the link and the API secret. That's what you could use. On Night Scout Pro on the homepage, you can copy the URL of your website. And then if you go to configure, in there is where you can get your API secret. If you haven't created one yet, go ahead and create one and then take that and put it into Guardian Monitor. After that, click the turn on sync. It will sync and your numbers will go from CareLink to Guardian Monitor over to your Night Scout link. Lastly, go back to preferences and toggle on the settings to keep the app running in the background and mute the chime if desired. This will ensure that the app keeps synchronizing to Night Scout in the background. 
And there you go. You have a Night Scout link that you can then use for all of the devices that just ask for a Night Scout link in order to display your CGM readings. Now let's talk about Android using Extra Plus. With Extra Plus, you can't download this app from the App Store. You have to install it onto the phone through a web browser. Use the link in the video description to download Extra Plus. Go ahead and download the APK file to your phone. Once the file is downloaded, it will ask you to install it, and then it may say it's an unsafe app. From here, you can just give it allowance by tapping on more details and giving it clearance to install anyway. The app will then install and it is on your phone. Now that you've got Xtrip, open it up and we can log into your CareLink account. From the home screen, tap the menu in the top left corner, go to settings and select hardware data source. From here, you're going to choose CareLink follower. Select the country that the pump and the CareLink follower account are from and then log in with your account. If you get an error here, I got one myself. It was because I was on an older model of Extra Plus. Medtronic often changes their servers and it can really mess up Extra Plus. So what you have to do is go back to the link in my description, make sure you have the latest version, download that. Of course, hopefully it works. And as soon as it logs in, you will see that care link information populate the screen and it gives you so much. It shows you boluses, the CGM readings, it is all there. And now we are going to take that information and put it into Night Scout so that you can use that link wherever you want. Let's start with Gluru. Open up Gluru, go to the menu, select devices, go to other. And from here under Gluru Global Connect, tap copy and select the Xtrip Plus link. Copy that. Now go back to the Xtrip, go to settings, scroll down to cloud upload, select Night Scout, enable it, set the base API URL with that link that we just copied. Now, if you want that information to back populate to your Night Scout, go to Xtrip options and select at the bottom backfill data. And I'd say within 30 seconds to one minute that all of that information will back upload into Gluru and you should see it. If you're not seeing it, then something went wrong. Now, if you went the Night Scout Pro direction, all of those instructions are the same, but we just need to get that new link. In order to get that, go to the link in the description. This is to create a link for Extra Plus. You're going to need your website link and your API secret. Both of these, plug those in. I said earlier in this video where to get those. Again, it's on the home screen of NightGuard Pro. You can just copy the link and then go into configure for the API secret. Take those, plug them in, and then voila, you've got a link along the bottom. Copy and paste that into Extra Plus. And of course, you can backfill that data like I said before and have all of that information go into Night Scout with the history. Now keep in mind that all of the tech you're using in the system needs to be online. If it's not, then it's gonna break, right? So you need to have all of these devices connected to the internet in order to get your readings on devices like this sugar pixel. And look, it looks like my friend, my Medtronic friend's numbers have leveled out. We're doing good. Now it is your turn to go out and connect your Medtronic CGM readings to your watches or your smart lights or other displays like this, there are, the limits really just keep going based off of what the community builds. Let me know in the comments what you're gonna be connecting your CGM readings to. And I wanna hear what other people that are already doing it, what should people connect their CGM readings to? Let us know down there. I wanna hear all about it. I've got so much more for you. I've got the podcast on Mondays. I've got YouTube videos on Fridays and I've got so many cool ones coming out. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to this channel, give this video a like. I'm Justin and I'll take you later. Oh, and sign up for the newsletter. Link in the link in the description.